Snakes are famous for those vertical slit pupils, but not all snakes have them. Most have normal rounded pupils like us, but some take their eyes to the next level and go the Kermit the Frog route and having bizarre horizontal pupils. And these aren't just useful for cosplaying as their favorite Muppet, but they actually give them the best vision of any snake. And I've come to the Philippines to show you guys how it works and catch the snake that has the weirdest eyes of all. But finding one of these camouflaged serpents is a lot easier said than done. All right, I may not be very camouflaged, but the animal we're looking for today is one of the hardest snakes to see, which is pretty ironic because it itself has the best vision of any snake out there. I'm talking about the vine snake, who blends into these weaving branches better than any other. And what makes its eyes so special is the extremely weird shape of their pupil. So I'm really hoping to find one, get it in front of the camera, and show you guys just how cool this snake can be. As I begin my search, everywhere I look is yet another vine or tree branch that clickbaited me into thinking it's the snake I'm after. And navigating through this tangled mess is part of the reason why vine snakes' eyes are so specialized. Horizontal pupils specialize in focusing on vertical movement and largely ignore horizontal features. So these eyes allow the snakes to ignore all the distracting vines and focus only on the lizards climbing up the branches. The opposite is also true, and is why predators that hunt close to the ground have vertical pupils, to look past the vertical grass and focus on their horizontal moving prey. But that's not the only feature that makes the vine snake's eyes so special. And just in time, I've found one to show you guys. The only problem is that it's in the worst possible place to film. All right guys, we have finally found our vine snake. And by some cruel twist of irony, instead of finding it in the thousands of vines we were looking for, we find it as we are going to the restaurant. If you look there, that is not a vine, but that is the tail of this snake, electric green. The color on this thing is just fantastic. To avoid a bunch of annoying restaurant background noise and scaring all the guests, I decided to leave this snake be and focus on catching a larger one in a more secretive area. Little did I know, this decision would lead me to one of the greatest snake catches of my life. This vine snake at the restaurant is a subspecies known as the Philippine vine snake and is found throughout the country. But to find a truly massive one, I'm traveling to the island of Palawan that has a different type of vine snake and one with a striking color pattern. There's a good chance it's the same species found in the rest of mainland Asia, but there's a possibility it's a new species that only lives here. As I trek through the lush jungle, I come across all sorts of prey that would make a perfect snack for this snake. The ground-dwelling sun skinks and the emerald tree skinks are really cool finds, but luckily I finally spotted the predator I've been searching for, a massive Asian vine snake. And all I gotta do now is catch it. Its horizontal pupils give it a huge field of vision, so they're able to detect threats sneaking up on them from any angle, which includes me. So sensing my presence, it starts to slither up towards the canopy so quickly that we didn't have time to break out the big camera. But luckily, I'm able to grab it just before it's out of reach. This is my first time trying to catch an arboreal species of snake, one that lives in the trees and is built for climbing. From what I've heard, they're among the hardest snakes to handle, and I can definitely see why. The snake constantly wraps itself around branches, and I have to unweave and maneuver it so much to get it free that it feels like I'm untangling a living knot. But eventually, my hard work paid off, and I've got myself one heck of a snake. Vine snakes are mildly venomous, so a bite wouldn't be lethal, but I definitely have some very unpleasant symptoms. And right there was the closest I've ever come to being bit by a venomous snake, only missing me by less than a centimeter. Oriental vine snake. And this one is a whole lot bigger than that Philippine vine snake we found at the resort. Oh man, he's getting ready to strike. Now, he looks almost identical but if you look at that scale pattern, you can see a slight checkered blue. And look at that. 
about to strike at me just like you would a little skink or a gecko. These guys are so, so mobile in the trees. And ah, oh, just look at them coil like that. One of the most beautiful snakes I have ever worked with. Wow. He's being pretty chill. Just wants to get a good look at his surroundings. But why don't you look at that? Oriental vine snake. This is the size of snake I was looking for. Just what a bizarre, awesome creature. So you see his neck curled up like that. Perfect serpentine strike posture. He's just gonna lay up in the trees and when a small lizard or one this size, maybe even a small mammal or bird comes by, he can strike out so fast using that momentum of his neck. And those eyes are gonna help him get some crazy depth perception on his prey. The reason why vine snakes have the best vision of any snake is because of how much their vision overlaps. Not only can it see all around itself, but for an animal with eyes on the side of its head, it can look straight forward directly at you. This makes its field of vision overlap and gives it binocular vision. The same thing mammalian predators have that allow them to zero in on something in front of them and expertly judge distance. Us humans also have binocular vision, but for a reptile and especially a snake, it's incredibly rare. The depth perception of this snake is unrivaled, and it's almost impossible for its prey to dodge when the vine snake decides to strike, which makes me very thankful I was somehow able to. So this snake, if you look at its eyes, it is even skinnier than the Philippine vine snake. Its eyes can go so narrow that you can barely even see its pupils. And that is to limit the amount of sunlight that enters. Kind of like how your pupils dilate and get smaller, this ones can dilate to the max. So it'll limit how much sun gets in and perfectly enable it to adjust for the right amount of light for what it's hunting. All right, guys, it's time to release this snake. Hopefully without him biting me. Right. Hello. Look at how far you can stretch his body. The vine snake was probably my favorite snake catch I've ever had. The way it moved and was so flexible kept me on my toes the entire time. But it's not the only snake I'd catch in the Philippines. If you want to see the opposite of a vine snake, check out my video on the snake with the worst vision, the blind snake. Or my video with another tree climbing snake, this time with the ability to glide, the flying snake. But there's one more snake I need to catch in the Philippines, the deadliest one I've ever attempted to, that lives in the opposite of the tall rainforest trees, but instead in the depths of the ocean. I'll see you guys next time.